Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. So this is my first video of 2018 and I'm really really excited because I have got the Lush Valentine's Day range today to show you all. So this has just come out online and it is coming out in stores on the 12th of January so not much longer to wait. But this year's range is amazing, there are some really gorgeous products this year. And um, The last few years I've not really been that won over by the Valentine's Day range, it hasn't really excited me that much but this year's products are incredible there are so so many gorgeous things and um, so I really can't wait to show you them so let's get things started with bath bombs so first off we have got the rose bombshell so this is not a new one this has been out for a few years now and it is a lovely kind of floor bath bomb it's yeah, it's just really sweet and floral. There's a lot of rose in there and it's actually got little flower petals inside as well. So when it dissolves in the water, you get absolutely loads of petals all in the water, which is just gorgeous. And um, I'm not a huge floral fan, which I think is why a lot of the time with the Valentine's Day range, I'm not that excited because I don't really like floral things. So this isn't one of my favourites, but I do quite like it. It's still very pretty. And then um, yeah, it's just really lovely and soft and floral. So that is the Rose Bombshell. We've also got back this year this one. Now, I always say this wrong. This is the Tisty Tosty? Tisty Tosty? I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it. I know that I always say it wrong, so apologies for that one. Um, but this has been out for a while now. It was a, like a regular product for a long, long time. It used to just be white. Then it came out for Valentine's Day as like an Oxford Street exclusive and then um, we've got it out this year again and it's kind of half the pink this time and half the white. Again this is a very pretty bath bomb. It's very floral again. I'd say it's not as strong a floral as the rose bombshell. This is a bit more woody. Um, I think I prefer the scent of this one. And again, it's got the little dried petals in it as well. So really pretty, really romantic, and obviously very, very in keeping with the whole Valentine's Day theme. And then the really exciting one, this is the brand new bath bomb for this year's range, and it is incredible. This is the Love Boat. Firstly, it's massive, like really, really big and really heavy, and it just smells it smells so lovely. It's really like sweet and sherbet-y. Um, it's meant to be quite zesty, but I think it's more sweet zesty than like a, a zingy zesty, if that makes sense. It's definitely got that kind of powdery sherbet-y feel to it. And it's got these gorgeous little confetti hearts here. So I'm presuming that when it dissolves in the water, they're going to go everywhere. So it's going to be really, really pretty. And I just, I just love the smell. It's so like orangey and uplifting. It's definitely got like yeah, it's definitely got like lemon and orange in there, so that is absolutely gorgeous, and that is the love boat. Okay, so bubble bars, we have just got one returning favourite this year, and it is this one. Everyone pretty much knows what this is. This is the Unicorn Horn, and it is loved by so, so many people. I think if they ever got rid of this, there would be like a petition to get it back, because people love it. It's a little bit like Snow Fairy at Christmas time, um, but this one smells very lavendery so if you love like the twilight range and things like that you're gonna love this one again i'm not really a lavender fan so i really don't do very well at valentine's day because they're not my kind of sense but i do quite like it and um, i wouldn't say it's one of my favorites but if you're like struggling to sleep and things like that this is ideal each year they kind of change the color scheme a little bit so it's still the same idea but this year it's more like bright colors and then there's a little bit of shimmer on there as well so that is the unicorn horn and then we've got two new bubble bars for this year. So this has got to be my favourite product in the entire range. And it is a whole lot of love. So it looks identical to a product from last year's range. Um, it's the whole bubble room idea. So it's got this kind of butter filling in the middle and then two bits of bubble bar sandwiched together. So it's really, really moisturising in the bath because it's got all those good butters in there as well. Um, there's also an awful lot of glitter. So if you're not a glitter fan, this probably isn't for you. But this smells like amazing. It smells the same as the Fizz Banger bath bomb that was discontinued this year. Now, the Fizz Banger was my favourite bath bomb ever, so I am so, so excited to have this bubble bar. It just smells the same, it is so, so lovely. So, 
It's got a lot of like lemongrass in there. It's very uplifting, very refreshing, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that it's not a floral. Like, it's so nice to have a product that is not a floral scented product for the Valentine's Day range. So that is the whole lot of love. And the next bubble bar is actually described as a bubble bar melt. So I'm not really sure what that means. Like, I would have thought it was just a bubble room, but I don't really know. So basically it's a bubble bar and then it's got like this icing on top, which is obviously all the butters and the melt part. So I'm interested to see how this works in the water. Not really sure, we'll see what happens, but make sure you check out my blog, which is mylushandstuff.com. I'll be reviewing all of these products so you can see what I think once I try it in the water and sort of see how I get on with it. But this one is called Heart of Enlightened Expectation, I think. Um, it smells quite floral again, but there's definitely some jasmine in there. Yeah, it's quite florally again. Um, quite subtle though. I do actually prefer this one, I quite like this, it's not your like normal kind of rosy floral scent, it is quite, it's quite lovely, um, bright orange so it's going to be lovely in the water and then yeah we've got this kind of butters up here so it'll be interesting to see how this one works. So next up we've got all the bits that kind of really excite me about Lush, these are kind of all the random bits and pieces and I, I love all this kind of stuff. So first up we have got this, this is Cherish but spelt like cherry-ish like the little play on words there and it is a body scrub with these these are meant to be cherries but I think they look a bit dodgy I'm not sure anyway it's literally melting in my hand so it's lots of butters and then it's got lots of exfoliating particles in there so it's a solid body scrub which is a really really cool it smells so beautiful there is so much chocolate in there there's like chocolate extract and white chocolate and there's cherry kind of bits in it and there's almond in there it just smells lovely and sweet and a little bit similar to like butter bear and things like that so if you like the butter bear um, at christmas time or the butterball from the regular range or anything like that you're going to love this one i literally got that melted all over my hands that's melted so so quick Ooh. which means this one's probably melted as well because it's quite warm in here at the moment so this is the melt my heart massage bar which looks like this actually this hasn't melted as much as the other one this is doing okay um, if you're getting these like sent abroad just bear that in mind that these two melt really quick so just be careful if you're getting them sent somewhere hot we're quite cold in England but I know some places get really warm so just be careful with the postman and um, this I really don't like the smell of I, that's like I feel so upset about this because I want to love it but it's really kind of herby and earthy and grounding um, which really isn't my thing I love sweet and citrus so it's the complete opposite to what I like and um, I heard that it smells the same as jungle which was an old scent from quite a while ago don't hold me to it because I've never tried jungle before but if you like that scent you're probably going to like this one I do think it's quite similar and um, from what I've heard so make sure you check it out um, I'd say it's quite like sensual and like relaxing and quite romantic but it's just not my cup of tea um, if you try it let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you like it I'd love to know like what other people think as well so that is the melt my heart massage bar okay it melted I literally lied it is melted everywhere I'm covered in oil right now oh never mind okay so we've just got a few more bits to show you and um, this one is the tunnel of love and um, the tunnel of love soap it is so so pretty on the outside it looks like bricks so i'm presuming in store it's going to be like a tunnel and then when they cut into it it's going to have this gorgeous heart in the middle of it this smells quite <sighs> I don't know it's described as citrus on the website and zesty but I just get really sweet from it it reminds me a little bit of like lime pastels or like the lime wine gums you can smell that lime in there um but yeah I don't get the like really zestiness from it and I definitely don't get any floral from it I just get really sweet lime and um, which I know lime zesty but it doesn't smell zesty it just smells like sweets um, I don't know if it's going to change a little bit with the water maybe and the scent will grow a little bit more um, but I'll let you know what I think when I try it yeah it's very nice though I do like it and this is all like exfoliating in here as well um, which is always really good for my soap so it has a little bit more like exfoliation from it so that is the tunnel of love 
And the last two products are kind of more your shower products. So this one has been getting quite a lot of hype. This is the Tender in the Night Naked Shower Gel. Now the Shower Gels at Naked came out this Christmas for the first time and although I like them and I think they're an amazing idea, like the whole concept behind them is brilliant. For me personally they're not very practical, like when I'm travelling these just don't work. Firstly I don't want to take a massive thing with me, I won't want to decant some, um, they get sticky, they're just not ideal. And also I find that they wear down really quick, like I know you're just meant to use a little bit because they're kind of concentrated, but it is so hard not to just use it like a soap and end up using it so so quick. Um, I know that one of them last from the Christmas range I got through in like a couple of weeks and a bottle would have lasted me so so much longer. So I am not a fan of the naked shower gels. And what's upset a lot of people this Valentine's Day is they haven't bought a bottled version out as well. So at least at Christmas, if you wanted the bottled version, you could. And if you wanted the naked, you could. There was the option, which was brilliant. It kind of, everyone was happy. Um, but now you can only get the naked one, which, you know, it's not great for everybody. Although the concept is phenomenal. Um, I've still got it. I want to try it. I'm going to still give it a go. But it means it's just got to sit in my bathroom and I can't take it away with me. And I'm away 99% of the time, so it's not great but anyway little rant over and um, more to the shower gel it smells absolutely beautiful and um, it's very soft and sweet it's very soft floral and um, so to say I don't normally like floral I quite like this one but I think it's because it's got vanilla in there and I love vanilla so it's a little bit more sweet and it, it is very soft and sweet that's all I can say soft and sweet it is gorgeous you need to go give it a little smell um, I'll let you know how I get on with it I'll give it the, ben uh, the benefit of the doubt to see how I get on with this one okay so last item last year this was my favorite item in the Valentine's Day range and it is the kiss me quick wash card but it's had a makeover it now looks like this which I must admit I prefer but it has got a different scent and I don't like this scent as much as last year's but it smells really interesting it's meant to be like spicy and clove but I think it smells <laughs> this is really weird I think it smells a bit like strawberry peachy that kind of like fruity smell and I don't think it's meant to smell like that so I don't know where I'm getting that scent from what do you think it smells like? If you try this, please let me know because I think I'm going a bit crazy that I can smell strawberry in this. Anyone else smell that or is it just me being really weird? It's meant to have clove, tonka and mimosa, mimosa in it? I don't know, but either way, it does smell really, really nice and it's really cute. And I heard the other day when I was in a Lush store that you can put this onto your shower wall when it's wet and then use like your hand or a sponge or one of those shower scrunchies and rub against it and you get the lava on that and then that stays out the wing nicely on the wall and it doesn't go all horrible. Really clever idea, I'm definitely going to give that one a go. Um, and these are quite handy, I think they're quite cute as well, I love a little novelty thing. And they're only £2, which is amazing. So that is all of this year's valentine's day range that is some gorgeous things i think i'm really excited because there's a lot of new stuff we've only got a couple of returning things this year and um, that is also i forgot to say the kiss lip gloss and the kiss lip scrub coming back i haven't got any of those so i don't actually like them um, and i've had them before so i thought you know what i'm not going to buy any more because what's the point i don't like it um, so they're coming back as well. So the range is really, really big for Valentine's Day range and absolutely gorgeous. Quite a varying in scents and things to suit everybody. So I hope you all get to try some of them out. Let me know what you try. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, if you know the sense of any of those two weird ones, let me know as well. But that is it from me for now. I will see you all next time. Please give me a little thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe below and you can keep up to date with all my videos that I have got coming. And um, I will see you all next time. Bye.